Hey Sonny Hill, it is Monday the 11th of December and you're here with me, Adam Clark. I hope you're having a good day so far. Not long till Christmas. Whoop, whoop. Um, yeah, so this week we're going through uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, Monday the 11th is chapter 11 and uh, Tuesday the 12th is chapter 12. And it goes on and uh, Friday we've got 15 and 16 to look at. So a bit of a chunk there. But um, yeah, obviously just looking through... Um, chapter 11 today and um, it starts off about instructions on public worship and very much a time where in the culture there um, just looking through my notes you know um, how women should have their hair men should cover their shouldn't cover their hair and women should and it was very much a culture thing we see that in many movements still today um, different um, types of Christianity and um, different doctrines I suppose if you like um, where us at Sunny Hill, we I think we're pretty free with that. We uh we get it, and uh, yeah, we're pretty free, and um, we don't have to cover our heads or anything like that. Um, but you know, at at that time, I think um there was a bit of a challenge, and Paul kind of wrote to them and said, "Do it this way, just to uh, help people out." Because I think if a woman had short hair in those days, I think it could have been a sign of prostitution, and yeah, just to kind of I don't know. It's, sort all that awkwardness out um it in the in today we we don't have to worry about putting a putting anything over our heads or anything like that we uh we go to church and um we worship and um yeah we give god the glory um you know you can read through um 11 verse sorry chapter 11 up to verse sort of 16 and it goes through all that and get your own stance on it um, so I want to dive into a bit deeper is um, seven, um, verse 17 onwards where it talks about the Lord's Supper. So it's it, basically what it's saying, there's a bit of division in the church. People were kind of coming to the synagogue, I suppose, or the or the church for, for, to have a off, sorry, to have a um, time of um, worship and enjoy the Lord's Supper together. People were already eating and there, there was just no division and Sorry, there was there was division. There wasn't um unity within the church then, and understandings of that. And I suppose to, in you know in the church today we can find that as well. Um, people doing things differently, and people get offended, and um, you know, you got to really examine yourself when we have our um communion services because it goes on later on in this, and um, you know if if you carry on and eat the bread and drink of the cup in an unworthy manner, or if you, you know, it says that you should sort out any issues you've got before you take that, because it can cause you illnesses. And even it says people fall asleep and as in dying um, because of that, you know, we, we hear of um, Ananias and Sapphira and um, we think that's pretty harsh, but there's, there's other bits here that actually is happening again. People are dying because they're taking communion and they're not kind of looking at themselves in their life and it's bringing on illnesses and things like that. And it's, it's scary, really, if you think about it. Um, so, yeah, just just something to think about when you when you um, or you don't have to wait till you take communion to it. just think about your life. Is it are you, are you in um, a good stance with God? Is is there anything you need to repent of? Is there anything that you need to go maybe go and say sorry to someone about something? Just make sure before you um we we have communion next that you really examine yourself and you're not just partaking in like a almost like a ritual you know and then that, we know that's not what communion's about at all. It's about remembering the body broken and the blood that was shed. But it does say here quite clearly that um you should examine yourself before you take that. So a bit of a challenge to everyone today. Um, if you think you know you need to go and repent or say sorry to someone. Just get on and do it. It, it. it can be hard and um, you can have an awkward conversation maybe or, you know, but it's better to get that off your chest and, and have a clear conscience and, and, and it'll just help next time you take communion. You can push deeper in. Um, so, yeah, um, that's my thought for today. I hope you have a good day and um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.